What's up, everyone? This is Jess, aka Play Play, and I work for Building Beats. We are a music education nonprofit that teaches music production and DJing to youth at after school programs, community centers, and homeless shelters across New York City. I'm here today to walk you through how to create a beat on Soundtrap using Patterns Beatmaker. So let's get started. You can make a free account on Soundtrap.com just using your Facebook, Gmail account, anything like that, any email. And it's completely free, and I'm using the free version today so that you can see how much you can do with the free version. There's also a premium version that you can use, but again, you can do a lot with the free version. And so all the samples that we're using today, all the sounds you hear, those are all fair use, free, uh, royalty free. So you can use these in any of your productions, and then you can export your creations and put them up on the internet, and you won't have any like copyright issues or anything. Uh, so that's great. You have access to a ton of sounds. So, but today, what I want to re really focus on is making drums in the Patterns Beatmaker. We have a lot of different tracks, and so I'm calling these tracks. And you hear tracks in the traditional form is like you know the DJ played my track. It's kind of interchangeable with song. Track and song can be kind of the same thing here. It's like the finished product. But here I'm talking about each individual element as a track. So here's a, a drum track right here. I've got a different drum track right here, another drum track over here, and one over here. And so today I'm going to show you how to make two different types of drum patterns, one that's more like maybe hip hop based and then one that is uh, more like electronic dance music. So I'm going to start with the hip hop one. And so a lot of people like to kind of talk about BPMs relative to genre, but I think every genre can span any type of BPM or when I say BPM, I mean beats per minute tempo, which you can see down here. Right now I have it at 120. So yeah, a lot of times like traditionally hip hop will be over in the like 90, 100 BPM range. Like trap music is often at like 140 BPM, things like that. But I've got this at 120 and it'll be, it has some bounce to it. First thing I want to do is show you how to even get to Patterns Beatmaker. So you can either add a new track and access it over here with the drum and beats or you can come over here and there you go. So Soundtrap defaults to this machine, this drum machine called Vanilla, which is pretty good, but you can also scope out the other ones. Anything that says Music Makers is the premium version. Anything that says free is free. So it's a lot that's free actually, and you can check them out. You can check out how they sound. So you can kind of see and so there's drum machines and then there's drum kits and the kits are kind of more traditional like drum sets cool um, I'm gonna stick with vanilla right now but what happens with your drum machine is patterns beat maker you get put into a one bar loop so this is automatically puts you in a one bar loop and there's four beats per bar this is beat one two three and four. Each beat is marked by a thicker line and then these thinner lines are separating like the mini beats so it's like you can do up to four beats per beat if that makes sense. So so the first one and to mute a track and sound trap you press this icon right here and unmute. There you go and now it's unshaded. Uh, to loop if you want to loop your tracks Make sure this is purple, and then when this goes to nine, it's going to actually loop back to one. Otherwise, if you have it grayed out, it'll just keep going. And this is your little marker. You can move it around. You can also shorten or lengthen your loop. All right, so let's come over here. I'm going to double click on this and see again it looped it into a one bar loop. That's what Patterns Beatmaker does. And so here I've put only one kick so just a kick on the first beat I always put a kick on the first beat if nothing else uh, I think it helps ground the track if you're a DJ which I am I started off as a DJ it really helps uh, with mixing um, into another track to have a kick on the first beat so anyway like 
there's no hard and fast rules. You don't have, you can break whatever you want, but DJs love when the kick is on the first beat. Snare here, I have it on the third beat. And then hi-hats, I've put wherever I felt good to put them. And then um, I put an open hat on the second beat. So anyway, let's listen to this. And again, listen to if I like reduce the tempo to 100, kind of changes the vibe a little bit. right I'll keep it I'll do like 120 for right now though any any faster and it starts sounding really weird but um, so when I first started this off before I had these hi-hats in I had the metronome on to kind of keep me in rhythm this is especially important if you're actually doing your melody before your beat um, but uh, it's good to have and then it starts getting annoying after a while so you gotta turn it off so that tick tock tock. I recommend having it on the clave because it's the loudest and the other ones can kind of get lost. You won't hear it as much. So yeah, you can just toggle it on and off right there. All right, so that is how I made my first beat. Again, you can cycle through, I like to have this playing as I do it, but cycle through the different drum kits to see how the rest of them sound. So what happens is it's changed all of this to what I had in that one bar loop. That's how that happens, um, which is kind of convenient. Um, say you did not have this arranged yet and you just had this one bar loop, which is how it's going to look for you when you first do this. The way I looped this all the way out to 16 bars is I hovered over to the top right and got this little looper guy. Whoop, there you go. Okay. Now watch what happens if I accidentally go to the bottom right. Doesn't work. So always drag from the top right. All right, cool. And then you can also duplicate these by hitting Command C and then Command V. V V. Now say I drug this all out, right? And I wanted to split this. I wanted to split it and kind of do more of a build up. So say I didn't want the hi-hats to come in yet. I want them to come in after the fourth bar. So I'm going to come to bar number five right here. Make sure this is right in the middle of where I want to make a cut. I select the track and hit Command E if you're on a Mac, Control E if you're on a PC. And now I can click on this. Again, it's grabbed just one bar loop and I can take out the hi-hats. Okay, and it's, you'll notice it's changed bars one through five, four bars, but it didn't affect these because I had split the track, so, okay. All right, so what I did here was I actually created a new track and added a different drum kit, so you can combine drums this way. So I'm going to unmute this. I went with the Corazon. It's a fairly new machine. All right, so if you're more of a live drummer, you can use your computer keyboard and record your drum beats. Just hit the record button. I would have the metronome on if you're doing this so you can stay in rhythm. It even tells you press your A key on your keyboard, and that is going to trigger the A drum. If you're... Uh, not with a laptop and you just have the iOS app, um, the iPad or the iPhone, you're only going to have this view. You won't have the Patterns Beat Maker, unfortunately. So you'll learn quickly how to work with this setup and be able to make some drum beats. I'm going to stick with the Patterns Beat Maker for right now because what I did was like this hi-hat situation was okay, but I really liked what was happening with the Corazon machine, so I wanted to add those hi-hats. So anyway, I've layered 
this hi-hat onto everything I've got up here with this attitude kit. Now let's listen to it. Yeah, so I literally, maybe I'll actually bring this over. There we go. All right, cool. Yeah, and I'll actually bring this out to the ninth bar. So I have a full eight bar range. Yeah, so that is basically what I did over here. I just layer these two drum beats. And the way I came up with the beat is I just kept it on loop and kept trying out new things until something sounded right. Then I kept rolling with it. So it's a lot of trial and error, experimentation, until you find a beat that you really like. Now I'm going to show you how to make more of an electronic drum track. I'm going to bring us into a loop over here. And first I'm going to show you, again, I layered two different tracks, two different drum machines on top of each other. So now I have boom snap. Okay, so over here, I'm going to actually change the tempo to 130. A lot of um, electronic dance music is around 130 like 120 to 150 I would say but it's pretty distinguished by like a four what is called a four on the floor kick so it's like four kicks per bar which means a kick on each beat every beat has a kick and then usually there's something on the second and fourth beat is known also known as the back beat uh, here I have the open hat doing the trick and then high hats wherever I feel like it I will tell you that if you add another hi-hat somewhere in it, it gives the track some flair instead of just doing this. It makes it kind of boring, but if you did this, it gives it a little movement. All right, so that's my first track. And then my second track, and I'm over here soloing these two now, but I could just as easily just unmute them like that. Um, so the second track, I am going to solo this and come on in here. All right, let's see what happens if I do quantize it. Oh, that's fine. Okay, sometimes if you quantize the notes, it'll like push it too far and then it'll lose the flavor it had before. This is fine. All right, so what I did was, you'll, you'll notice this says other. That's because what you can do, and I can do this, I'll actually do this on another track actually, the first track we did. Mute this. I'm going to come back over here. All right. Uh, so yeah, I have this. If I didn't want this low tom, for instance, I could just click right here and change it to something else. And you have all these options. You can also add different things you can add all of them if you want but what I noticed is there was no clap and one of the characteristics of a lot of like dance music especially house music is a clap so I'm back I'm gonna put myself back over here just solo this all right I'm gonna come back in here and the way I found this clap was I actually came over here and started messing around and noticed that this is a clap right here. This uh, this J is a clap. So I rec I literally recorded it, and that's how I got it over there. So I went like this. Oh, I don't want to re-record over what I did though. Just hit record. I want to have the metronome on, so I can stay in rhythm. The idea is just to record, and then you hit the button, and then what you can do is actually go into the piano roll after you record it and adjust your notes. And you can zoom in here with this magnifying glass, but it's gonna go to wherever you have this guy. Okay. Yep, so you can kind of move these notes around. If, they're, if you recorded them and they're like slightly off, you can just adjust them over here. So that's the piano roll. As, as it pertains to drums. So anyway, back to this. All right, so I recorded, this other is a clap, and I have the clap on the two and the four, and then like another clap here just to spice it up. 
And then I've also recorded a crash. It says crash, but what it is is it's actually a shaker. You can hear that kind of snake sound. That's a shaker. And that is actually this H right here. Okay. So anyway, that adds some flavor. And like, it's kind of nice to have a shaker if you do shakers on each beat, but over on the third of the beat. So instead of right on the, um, the first part of the beat, have it like shifted a little bit. Okay. So it's alternating. So anyway, this is everything together. All right, uh, so that is the basics of using the patterns beat maker and the drums, the live drums, and the piano roll. Uh, so there's a lot you can do, and this is all free using Soundtraps, and you can get this again at soundtrap.com. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, once again, my name is Jess. I work for Building Beats. Uh, check out our website at buildingbeats.org and follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Building Beats. And follow us, like our post, and check out our other Soundtrap how-to videos. Come to our classes. We're at BB Connect. Thanks, and have a great day.